is a really simple rule about teleconverters. And I'm not really a fan of teleconverters, even though I own like I own six teleconverters. There are a lot of teleconverters out there too, by the way. Now, if something is compatible, that doesn't mean it's any damn good. <laughs> For example, this is the latest and greatest TCE 14E Mark III. Now, it is compatible with this NICOR 200 to 500. However, no. F8? Okay, so it's going to take a 5.6 and it's going to drop it down to an F8. Ah, um, okay. That's no good, especially for birds in flight, unless it's really, really, really sunny outside. Also, it's going to cause some other issues. Autofocus tracking, right? If you're going to do still stuff at distance that you can't reach, like, you know, things that generally aren't moving or sitting in the lake or whatever, that's okay. It's acceptable. But generally speaking, teleconverters don't like zoom lenses. I don't use teleconverters on zoom lenses. What teleconverters are for, and it's the reason why I own several of them, is for huge prime lenses. 200 millimeter fixed primes, 300 millimeter fixed primes. <clears throat> These two are peanut butter and jelly. These are, are uh, I was about to make a pornographic reference, but I won't do that. <laughs> These two are meant to go together. 300 millimeter F4 and the TC14E Mark III or the Mark II prior to this. That's what they're for, for prime lenses. 400 millimeter F4, 6, 500 millimeter um, uh, F4, 600 millimeter, F5, six. yeah, that's what these are for. That is where they are bueno. Good for tracking, good for lots of stuff. Uh, they do flatten things a little bit. These are, by the way, this is really expensive. I think what the current price on this is $600. Oh my god, yeah, seven elements. Seven elements. You can see me through this, can't you? Oh, god, it's... I'm not a fan of teleconverters, but when it comes to primes, teleconverters are... <laughs> but don't, please don't ever ask me about teleconverters. Because you're like, I'm on the Nikon webpage, and it's this is the teleconverter compatibility website for Nikon. And it says, this, this lens will work just fine on the 200-500. It's like, it will work fine. But so too will a car with square wheels also go down the road. But not so good. <laughs> There's some crazy guy. You know what TV show? He made square wheels to stick on a car. And then he went driving it. <laughs> and he was like giving himself spinal injury driving down the road. And everybody was staring at him like, Jeez, what a dumbass. <laughs> it would be so cool to cruise downtown on a car with square wheels. And that's what a teleconverter is. Mounted on a zoom lens. Yeah, no dice. Uh, no, 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 no. It works. Kind of like a person living with cancer is also living, but uh, not so good. No, that's no good. Uh, no bueno. No. Was the Russians would say, очень плохо, товарищ. Right? Okay. I think I made that clear. Short, sweet, simple, right? Yeah, don't mount this crap on a zoom lens. I don't care how good it is. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>